What's up guys, Tao here. So ever since the uh, Mac OS 10.14 Mojave released, I directly upgrade from High Sierra to 10.14 and also I did a clean install on my existing system just to see how well uh, it performed on the 10.14. Now today I'll be sharing with you guys my two different method experience and hopefully uh, you guys out there who want to do the same uh, maybe can benefit you guys. So yeah, if you want to know about it, stay with me. Right, before we go ahead, just want to point out that uh, all the methods, all the tools and all the settings is specifically for my system. So your system may differ, your setting may differ and the option you choose uh, may be different. Just bear that in mind. Now the first method is direct upgrade from existing system to 10.14. My experience was pretty smooth. All you need to do is just make sure the bootloader is the latest and then uh, make sure you download the um, Mahovi from the App Store and just go through the installation procedure. Now during the installation or during the upgrade, I need to select the pre-boot option uh, from the bootloader. So, but again, your experience may be different. So it will start around about twice before you get into the desktop and then reinstall the sound driver, etc. Now the biggest issue I encountered was the SM BIOS. My system it was on the 8 iMac 18.2. Now, after the upgrade, it's still on the 18.2, but the system kept on boot loop. So that never actually happened to me before. So I figured out it must be the uh, SM BIOS. So I changed the uh, SM BIOS to iMac 18.1. That worked. However, when I changed the wallpaper, um, the system just, just the system just freeze. And also when I used the Final Cut Pro to export, it was straightforward fail. So I just couldn't figure it out. So in the end, I found something online, uh, some user saying change the uh, bot ID and the BIOS version within the config uh, playlist. So luckily I found a solution. So I will leave the link down in the description, uh, change the uh, SM BIOS to iMac uh, 18.3 and use different bot ID. So that worked fantastic. The second method is the clean install. In my opinion, before you do any clean installation, uh, the best way to avoid any potential error, uh, only uh, connect the necessary hardware to the system, uh, which means only connect the system drive and only connect keyboard and mouse if you need it. Uh, make sure to disconnect the uh, wireless card if you have one, just in case uh, the uh, system recognizes the wireless card uh, first, not your internal ethernet. Um, yeah, just to avoid uh, any potential errors. Uh, in my opinion, the uh, most difficult bit in my experience, it was the defined SM BIOS uh, within the USB installer. Um, by default, the, uh, the SM BIOS is the uh, iMac 14.2. So I kept experience the system boot uh, loop. So which means the USB bootloader uh, boot halfway and restart and constantly doing the same thing. So I figured out uh, if I change the SM BIOS on the USB stick, uh, hopefully it will help. So I changed that to uh, iMac 18.1. So surprisingly enough, it did help. So I went through the installation procedure. Now let me just show you what I did uh, in terms of the uh, config, within the config playlist. Uh, first is the SM BIOS, you can see I changed that to iMac 18.1 by default it is 14.2 now this uh, actually is by default using the NVIDIA graphics I'm using the AMD graphics um, I would suggest you according to your configuration uh, you can play around with the SM BIOS uh, to find the perfect one for your system and the second is on the graphics area I can see I choose the Radeon I take the Radeon option here um, now number three uh, this is trial and error, so I found out the hard way. Now debug, by default debug is ticked. So that means it will uh, load a lot of background coding which is unnecessary. So that will make the procedure much, much longer. So make sure you untick it, so make the whole procedure a lot quicker. So yeah, that is the uh, tricks to make the USB installer work properly. 
uh, in my experience anyway. So bear in mind, this is for my specific uh, configuration. Uh, your one may be uh, different. During the system installation, the system will restart twice itself. Uh, so be prepared. Uh, the whole installation is going to take a very long time. So have a coffee, have a tea, have a nap. If you have a dog, just walk your dog. Just be prepared. It's going to take a long time. After eventually you will get into the desktop and then you will start the post installation process. Um, now, again, now these options I selected uh, solely for my system, uh, according to my hardware specification. Uh, your one may be different, so please select the relevant options within the multi-beast. There are a few key points I want to talk about after the uh, installation. Uh, let me show you guys my config playlist. Uh, first is the uh, SM BIOS. Now, I've changed the my SM BIOS to iMac 18.3. Now, if you notice, when you change to the 18.3 within the Clover configurator, uh, the board ID and BIOS version it won't be like this, so it will be different from this. So this actually I found it on, in, on the internet. Now this will work perfectly for my system. But then remember guys, now this is for my system. Uh, now your one may be different, especially if you use the AMD card. I probably will say this may work for you. Otherwise, uh, you can comfortably use 14.2. Uh, now, the second is the graphics card. Uh, now, make sure you, AMD card user, make sure you use this uh, value. So, uh, I will leave that uh, enable hardware acceleration uh, down the uh, description so you guys can check it out. Uh, and also in the boot, in the boot, so this option make sure you use. Again, they are uh, within the link uh, which I will post in the description. Now the second is the sound. Um, sound is a little bit tricky on this particular motherboard, the Z370. Make sure you select the uh, ID patch before you do anything else. So in my instance, uh, you select this option, the uh, install the audio device ID and install that and then restart the computer and then you install the Apple ALC and your uh, motherboard driver accordingly. All right guys, uh, let's recap. So what I've learned from these two different methods, um, one thing I've learned is the SM BIOS is very, very important. Um, depends on your hardware configuration, depends on your system configuration. Uh, SM BIOS actually determine if you can boot into it and how well you actually performance within that system. Um, by saying that, uh, your system may be very, very different from mine, so you might not need to select the uh, SM BIOS as I did, so really according to your system. Now, in terms of the performance, um, Honestly, I didn't really notice uh, any performance improvement uh, apart from this dark mode. Um, but honestly, there are loads and loads of improvement. But you know, in terms of me, everyday use it, uh, the system to me is more or less the same. If you are on the high Sierra, um, you might want to just stay with it unless you really, really want to change. Um, I typically don't normally upgrade to the latest system. Um, at the very beginning, I tend to wait for the second or the third update, um, just to let the whole system iron out a um, bit more stable. But now, um, I just want to get a first-hand experience and share with you guys, and see how the um, experience uh, from the day one. So yeah, that is my uh, experience. Hopefully you guys uh, uh, enjoyed the video. And if you like the video, click on the like and share with others. If you didn't like the video, you know what to do. Um, and also please subscribe for future video update. So yeah, see you guys in the next one.